Hello, my name is Justin. My favorite color is yellow. Hello, my name is Kyle. My favorite color is orange. Uh, my name is Alex. My favorite color was yellow, but Justin likes that, so now it's pink. Um, hey, I'm colorblind, so if you want, you could steal it. I probably wouldn't even know. We'll yeah, I was gonna say, how, how do you pick a favorite color if you're if you're colorblind? Like, is your favorite color you what see. you see as yellow? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, then it's my favorite color is actually yellow. yellow. That was your intro question. Why did you go with colors? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm anyway, sorry. so what what are we talking about this time? Chicken nuggets, man. We, I believe we are talking about chicken nuggets, and the reason we are on that topic is because one of our members, the very handsome Justin, has an experience with chicken nuggets. Yeah, I'm I'm like a seven out of eight. Out of, you know. Oh wow, that's you're you're rating yourself out of eight. Oh yeah, only hot people do that. Anyways, <laughs> so yeah, basically, I thought. Why not eat a bunch of chicken nuggets, ruin my body, throw off all my electrolyte balances, just get everything out of whack for the entertainment of just others um, and the pain of myself. I'm just into that. Well, um, I'm really glad. That I, I, I want to point thought. out, too. I, I want to point out, too, that this started because of not a source of inspiration, but a a fake Facebook meme as well. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. Um, my girlfriend actually told me about it, and I said, "Who? Oh, I could do that." It was it again? They said he got paralyzed off of four hundred and thirteen, four hundred thirteen 413 nuggets. nuggets. So I saw that as inspiration. You you said it wasn't, but it really was. And then after further developments, I realized that it was fake, like most things on the internet, and I didn't change my war path in any way shape or form so we've got a couple things to talk about chicken nugget related um let's see i think i'm gonna start off with that okay nuggets you dip them you dunk them they're chunky they're fun well alex today came with some uh Wait, with some chick chicken nugget facts are you stealing? Oh. I was just about to do my thing. What the heck? Are you stealing my thunder right now? Hey, you ate no, the no, chicken no, no. nuggets. <laughs> you don't need to do anything. Else. Okay, we'll start off with your facts, because when it comes to me, things are getting serious. That's all I have to say. Go go right ahead. Right. Do you have them pulled up? Oh, so it would have been really nice if Kyle just let you do your thing real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it also wouldn't be very Kyle of him, so... Let's go right ahead. You go, you go. <laughs> Where are the nugget facts? Wait, do you not have any? They're being pulled up at the moment. Okay, just, I'm going to just I had a do mine because <laughs> oh my God. I have it set up. Um, so off the bat, any favorite sauces? Don't tell me, though. Just think of them. Set them in that little brain you have in your head. Okay. Because we're about to debate which is the best. Um, in our first bracket, we've got Zesty versus Honey Mustard. Mm -hmm. um, anybody have any strong opinions between these two? Yes. And it, my strong um, opinions don't lie on which one I like more. They lie on which one I just absolutely despise more. And I'm okay. sorry. Zesty cannot win this. That is Zesty gross. can't win no. the overall? Honey, or no, it this? can't. Both. Both. Wow. Zesty is bottom um, tier right now. I, I think that Zesty is just a little too vague because there could be like a, a Zesty Mustard or a okay. Zesty Ranch. So let me break so, it down for you. It's like a horseradish -y Zesty. Yeah, that's oh, what I was where thinking. you're getting that, and that, that just... back of your nose feeling where you want gotcha. to cry, but you also feel alive for the first time kind of deal. Gotcha. Has, yeah, there we're is kicking, no place. We're, we're kicking Zesty to the curb. I don't right. want it winning. Yeah. Honey Mustard's my vote. Ooh, I gotta give it to honey these mustard. These were randomly generated too. Um, honey mustard is my favorite, but only from certain restaurants. That's the thing. Okay. We're debating which is the best as like the best you've ever had, though. You're not gonna. I have pick opinions the worst on honey mustard. Like... Okay. But I'm gonna save them. Yeah, we're gonna need they, they in the second round. We don't. They don't need to be talked about. With exactly. Such I'm gonna trash. shut my mouth here. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going sriracha, and that's creamy sriracha. 
you know, okay. okay. Uh, ketchup, sriracha and ketchup, both red from what I know of colors to me. Yes. Um, go right ahead. Anybody want to open with a statement? Mm-hmm. This is a tough one. Okay. Why? I gotta, I gotta say because, because ketchup's kind of a, a good all around sauce for nuggets. You know, you can't really go wrong with a specific type of ketchup. Sure. Where it is, but but sriracha, good sriracha nuggets is just it, it's it's out of this world, man. Okay, um, here, Alex, a rebuttal. Ty, let me break it down for you. Are we on team sriracha or team ketchup? We're on team sriracha all the way, baby. Okay, and I'll okay. tell you why. Continue. I'll tell you why. Ketchup, very great, very versatile sauce. Not just yep. for nuggets. It's a whole bunch of things you can use on ketchup on a lot of things. Yell it from the when it back. comes to nuggets, when it comes to nuggets, only time it is appropriate to use ketchup in the uh, the chicken nugget. They're called the Dunkers or whatever. You know what I mean? The Oscar Mayer freaking Lunchables. Oh, yeah. Fries. My bologna is the first name. Exactly. I um, no, it's, it's not so a nugget so sauce. It's not your a preferred nugget. ketchup is Oscar Mayer. Yeah, I don't My know. My preferred about that. nugget for ketchup is the Oscar Mayer nugget. Oscar I didn't Mayer even know ketchup. Oscar Mayer branched out the chicken. Yeah, we don't talk it's, about well, it. It's, yeah, we don't really talk not, about it. Because it's not. My chicken has a first name. No, it's my bologna. My bologna. Um, but bologna does go well with ketchup. I don't really eat bologna. But we're not talking about bologna. Are we? Yeah, that's True. a different kind of uh, animal right here. Here's um, my thing. I've got <laughs> I've got a the topper right here. Ketchup is baby juice. Or it's it's for babies. Like this is the sauce that you put when you don't know what other sauce to put on. Sure, it's great okay. with fries, but if you ever see me dunking in that little ketchup container, no, I'm not gonna do it. Um, I say sriracha because sriracha is for big boys. I'm, I'm gonna I'm there. gonna I go with sriracha with if if only because it's 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 man enough to stick to one color. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa, ketchup whoa, whoa, had to change whoa, 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 colors whoa, whoa, whoa. for a while. Man enough. Let's not let's not get into there. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm beta and I want to leave it there. But continue. <laughs> ketchup had to change its identity in the early to mid 2000s. It saw the uh, popularity of a certain animated movie you might be familiar with it called Shrek. And just oh, had yeah. to snowball its identity, change it to green, purple. It had to really stand out, whereas Man. Sriracha has always been the same color. Justin oh sees it as God. red. It's more of an orange. Um, Wait, and- are tomatoes orange? <laughs> <laughs> are you telling me? I don't know. Why I don't wasn't know Nickelodeon? You why wasn't Fuck Nickelodeon right using a fucking tomato instead of the goo or whatever they had? Like, why weren't they throwing tomatoes at people? Because they're orange. Instead, they got the green goo. I don't get it. I'm struggling right now. Are you, right are you, now are you, I are you, are you, you messing truth, with us right now? At the same time, I don't want to. Anyways, sriracha for the win. We're moving on. We're moving on. Um, I'm also it. sorry if your sauce of choice didn't make it in. But um, I actually just don't care. Next is buffalo and barbecue sauce. Anybody want to open up there? This I one do. is probably it, going to be the most controversial round. It is. And it is I I will lose friends over this one because barbecue. Okay, really quick. Can we have just go for the votes right off the top so we can see if yeah. there is some kind of diversity. Uh right. Kyle, what are you thinking? I'm going to go with barbecue. Okay. And Alex? Q. You said barbecue? Q, barbecue barbecue. Barbecue, BBQ. I'm gonna have to go with Buffalo. I'm just saying. Mm. It looks like we're ending the podcast early, gentlemen. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh. um, like, do you yourself. want me to fight for my life, or can you guys? I want you to fight for, for both no, sides. We don't. You're the one on the defensive here. I no, need yeah, to know. You need to go. Okay. We need to know. Um, I'm on team creamy Buffalo. Just saying, like I don't like Doesn't the regular, just straight up Buffalo sauce. Uh. But that's like the classic wing flavor, and I know we're not eating wings. Oh, never mind. I lost my own statement. I it's the best for wings, but not for uh, chicken nuggets. I I, I, messed up. I, I, I was about to wings. say it was like what kind of chicken? I knew are we the going second. For? I knew the second I said it, I had already lost. Anyways, no, you know what? Use your barbecue sauce. Keep all that for the next round. 
because I'm sure we're gonna have some pretty heated moments coming up. Okay. So we're moving barbecue on to the next round. Bye bye. Last Buffalo. one. Ranch, sweet and sour. This one's easy for me. I got to go sweet and sour. Okay. I don't Alex? like sweet and sour, so I'd have to go ranch. Oh, dang. Do you have a preferred ranch? Like country style, mama's made. Hidden milk. Valley Ranch. I have a preferred brand. I have a preferred type of ranch, but I, I, okay. I might be veering a little too much. Okay. I want to so find If we're just going where... based off normal ranch. For sure. I want to find out where Hidden Valley is. Because the way they depict it in commercials is heavenly. Um, I wouldn't get along with much of the people there, but besides that, I'd like to find it. At, to say I the think Did... the way they depict Hidden Valley, it seems like a place that's like just on the cusp of northern Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, never mind. Anyways, <laughs> shoot, yeah. you guys both went one of two ways. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it seems like you gotta a sway me. Here. You gotta sway me one way or the other. All right, the flavor yeah, profile, profile kind of... like anything. All right, sweet and sour. Here's my thing: if for any kind of sauce, I'm gonna prefer tangy. So I'm gonna prefer tangy over creamy myself. Sweet and sour. It totally depends on where you get it from, but if with the right kind of nugget and the right tangy sauce, it hits the spot. Specific. I'm. Which I also spot? just. The uh, the, like, like towards the like towards the back of the taste profile, I'd okay. say. Um, I I'd say it probably goes best with like cheaper nuggets. Like if you're gonna go somewhere like a McDonald's or something like that, like if the nuggets are like crunchier, it works better with sweet and sour. Um, I'm I'm a little biased because again, I I do not like ranch typically. Um, but that's, that's my argument is that if you're going with a specific type of crunchy nugget, sweet and sour, you can't beat it. I'm just saying if we're having soggy nugs up in here, I'm out. So we're sticking with the crunchy either way. We're not having soggy nugs. Yeah, no, that just sounds like a whole issue on itself. Um, yeah, Alex, you don't even need to talk. I think I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. Go right ahead. So yourself a crick. Uh, grave okay. on my buddy Kyle. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's the thing. Just like ketchup and its versatility. One of the most versatile sauces. I don't know what to go with. Ranch is normally an option, especially with nuggets. Any nugget goes with any, any brand of ranch. Where it sets itself apart from ketchup, because when you get a really good ranch, it makes the nugget so much better when you get a really nice like a warm like creamy really rich ranch okay not the best uh descriptive terms but okay. here, here here's my dispute for that why does the versatility argument work for ranch but not for ketchup oh ketchup because ketchup there's only ke- there's no you know there's no it's ketchup there, you can buy a different brand of ketchup it's fucking ketchup you i can buy only... a different brand of ranch I only eat and ketchup on French fries. I don't put it on my burgers. I only French fries. But ranch, ranch is versatile. At the it same is. time, well, at the same time, so being really, really good on nuggets. Okay, that's true. Okay. It's way better at being it's a better ketchup, ketchup than it's ketchup. It's a better is. ketchup. Yeah, it's a exactly. better ketchup. You are not wrong. Um, the amount of people I see eating ranch on pizza, grilled cheese, all this Midwestern, Midwestern just stuff. weirdness. I think it's um, just because we're like scared of spicy sauces, and like the spiciest <laughs> thing I see most people eat is ranch. So I mean, salt is very spicy. Um, honestly, I'm gonna go with sweet and sour. The argument Whoa. for ranch was not bad whatsoever, but. Sweet and sour just has a little more going on, and when it's a good one, it's a great one. Um, so awesome, we're gonna go to it was honey mustard versus sriracha. Mm. Any opening statements? Oh, that's a hard one. This is a hard one. That's what she... never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with, I'm gonna have to go with sriracha, and my reasoning and is gonna have to be consistency like it was between okay. sweet and sour and ranch i feel like honey mustard really is make or break on what honey mustard it is 
And I feel like I can find more consistency in sriracha than I can in honey mustard. I feel like it has to be a really banging honey mustard for me to enjoy honey mustard. Oh, yes. But uh, here's the thing. I think we are including whatever the best, like the best experience you've had with each of these is kind of. Well, then it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to bias for me then, because personally, yeah, that's fine. when I'm talking about best experience, I'm not a big fan of honey mustard in the first place, so okay. my, my vote would still have to say, stay, sriracha. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I guess in this kind of argument for me, it really is like, would I prefer the highest of highs, but the lowest of lows, or just consistency? Because I've had some fantastic honey mustards, and some like really bad honey mustard but i would like to bring up a little sneak peek into the video um (laughs) i had a honey mustard and i was excited for this honey mustard i dip into it i call it that fine yellow i give it a little whiff i waft it ready to inhale as i do most things and I taste it, and it just tasted like mayo. And if you oh, eat mayo no. on your nuggets, nah. if you eat mayo on your nuggets, I quote, I quote, I'm pretty sure I said something along the lines of, you're insane if you eat mayo on your nuggets. Oh, so this, no, I'm so it sorry. It gave me a low. It gave me a low. One of the lowest lows. But I also remember times of honey mustard bliss that I just will never forget. Um, Where... That really low low just doesn't do it like it doesn't even discount all the great times I've had with it. I'm team honey mustard because it is sweet. It is savory. And I'm going to leave it at that unless you say so, something better. Then I won't leave it. What at you're that. saying, Justin, what you're telling me is that honey mustard yes. is the girlfriend you'd stay with even if they cheated on you. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, that's what you're telling dang. me right now. I am not saying that. So um, the only fin- thought I was going to finish is that Sriracha has been more consistent overall. But again, for the highest of highs, my vote's going to have to go with honey mustard because there, oh! some- there are it. some honey mustards that I've had that just take I'm it st- over the top. For I'm me. still upset. B-dubs, if you're listening, I know <laughs> you took honey mustard off your menu and you replaced it with pizza and some weird other Asian flavor that's called like Asian. I don't like it. Like I don't zine? like it. And why I can't wait I can't wait for five episodes when B dub sponsors us. Oh. I love your stuff besides that. But I did see that honey mustard is available as a dip on the side. Good going for you. But besides <laughs> And he saves that. it. And he saves it. <laughs> Got to keep that hey, sponsorship. Keep that money. Keep that money flowing. Keep that, keep that wing. Keep that wing. You know it. <laughs> Anyways, honey mustard moving on. I did not see this happening. Um, but I Dude, wanted to. I'm not disappointed. Next, did we go with buffalo or barbecue? Because it was, it was barbecue. It was barbecue. It was barbecue. So it's barbecue and sweet and sour. I feel like this round will easy be pretty easy. My vote's going to go for barbecue. Okay. For barbecue. Dang. So sweet and sour, the same thing as with the honey mustard, where I have high highs on that. I remember floating in the clouds on some sweet and sour. But the barbecue, it's consistent. It's... I mean, okay, it's not even consistent. The best barbecue okay. is better than the best sweet and sour, in my opinion. Ooh. It's kind of funny how these reverse arguments are working. Like, the same thing that, like, knocks sriracha <laughs> down is what's bringing up barbecue. And We I, are here to not I, make sense. I Well, it's not even that it's not making sense. It's, it's just, like... Bias is blooming, if I've ever had to say anything about it. Yeah, you and know I what? Came, I think I came it's in, just that... I came in this argument knowing where i wanted to end up oh and we were not go. getting there i'm going whichever anyway. way that chicken nugget tide brings me um so, so if i'm surfing on sriracha i'm gonna do it but if it's she a sinking tonight, on sweet and you. sour i might have to i think you guys are gonna win this with the barbecue <laughs> all right go i'll accept defeat I, okay i'm going with barbecue it's the barbecue. grand finale we all went barbecue now so it's barbecue versus honey mustard, which makes sense. They're two classics, two titans. Um, which one's getting slain today? Wh- yeah, which one is fighting to the death? Um, huh. 
I'm gonna you, stick by honey mustard. For me. What was that? He's taking it for me. I'm sorry. This barbecue. There are so many different kinds of barbecue. This is so good. Chicken was meant for barbecue, especially chicken nuggets. Okay, okay. Just just for the sake of consistency here, I feel like we should narrow it down to the most famous kind of sauces right here. Um, we're gonna what? Somebody say a fast food restaurant really quick off the top of their head. KFC. KFC. So we're gonna go with KFC honey mustard versus KFC barbecue. Oh, it's honey really, mustard. We should not have went there. That was he. That was a blow. He did that on purpose. KFC I barbecue it. is atrocious. I planted that chicken seed. Mm-hmm. Mm. See, barbecue is atrocious. This is ridiculous. Okay, well, okay, name a restaurant then. McDonald's. Both sauces are good at McDonald's. Barbecue's good. The honey mustard's good. They're both decent. The barbecue does bring nostalgia to it, though. I will admit that because what child is eating honey mustard? What child is eating barbecue? But also, a lot also of when also they once you start to have that honey mustard, they got a pretty a pretty nice honey mustard. I won't. Ooh. Deny. So, is there a place that the honey mustard is just so bad that I don't know it knocks it down a peg? Um, a lot of the oh. a lot of the bad honey mustards I had were more store bought. However, oh yes, th- and this may be I don't think this will be a controversial uh, opinion. Um, Arby's worst sauce is their honey mustard. Okay, but that's also not necessarily Arby's. the honey. Okay, we're not even going there right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, in you're defense. an Arby's boy. Yeah, you're an Arby's boy. Where that, that that's in the past. Um, but it, even still, without that, that that is by far their worst sauce. Uh, I would agree, like, but I wouldn't. But also, they got some pretty stellar sauces. But they're not in the ranking right now. No. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. That's Dude, not what I'm that saying. horsey I'm saying. sauce. The horsey sauce. I would ride all the way home. Just saying. So horsey sauce is an honorable mention in that. Oh yeah. Um, not getting started on the Arby sauces. Yeah, not, yeah, no, me. that's that's a separate argument. But uh, so, what overall, takes the cake? All right, I'm, it's, it's, I'm going honey mustard every day because I came in thinking honey mustard would not even do that good, but it's the love of my life. It's my soul sauce. I'm just saying. Right, my soul sauce is barbecue, and it always will be, always has been. So, Kyle, it's coming down to you right now. It is coming down to me, and this sucks because this is my. And these you are will my two. Break a friendship these right are my, my two favorite sauces. That means that just means we've done a good job. Yeah, you know what? Props to us for being good judges. Um, Literally, even uh, though we've deconstructed our thought process and come to the <laughs> and conclusion it was very that not it's proper just, at all. Yes, um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to go with barbecue. Oh, there it is. There it is. I mean, I, I've only because I've had more consistently good barbecue than consistently good honey mustard. Oh, I'm sorry, Justin. I rode this wave to the end. You, you, you crashed. You, you biffed it. I'm sorry. I give you. I. It was a very close call, Justin. You planted some very good chicken seeds. Um, I did not. I did not expect it to come down to me, but that's where my vote's gonna go. It's gonna go with you know, barbecue. That's it. Just call me regular old Johnny Chicken Seed, planting chicken seeds from here to Miami every day of the week. Uh, <laughs> I'm just glad it got this far, honestly. I yeah, uh, we had a real that was intense, honestly. It was a good run. It was a good run. What do run. you think would have happened? Okay. Continue. Question. What do you think would have happened if we seeded honey mustard and barbecue together in round one. Who do you think would have been at, at top with one? Of well, the- here's Ooh. the thing. Here's the thing. It was automatically generated as far as what was facing what. And I yes. looked at it the first time. I was like, wow, this is going to be good. It's There's no Titans, like I said before, facing off in the first round. So I knew it was going to be pretty close in the end. Um if they would have faced off first round, that would have meant that Zesty and Buffalo would have been together. I would have assumed Buffalo went on. Buffalo probably would have went yeah, on. Buffalo yeah, Buffalo would have went on. Um, And then Barbecue would have went on. And then they would have faced each other. Yeah. It, I, I, it I do think cards. it led to the I do think it led to the best final round in the most yeah, discussions. I think, I think it was very good. And I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm, I'm content. With yeah. the way it ended up. I mean, my favorite sauce won, so I guess I, I'd have to be. But well, I'm we glad all honey have... mustard made it as far as it did, because it, it gets a lot of shit. 
as a dipping oh, sauce that it doesn't deserve. I like to think of myself as the honey mustard of just the world, but I get so close, but I'll just never get that grand prize. I'm just saying. I'm oh, just yeah, I just saying think of my, that, myself as zesty. Uh, I'm never I'm going just to saying eat. that out of all of us, I didn't have any real sauces that I that lost in the first round or that like betrayed me. So if anything, I'm the boss that has the sauce, you could say. I'm the sauce that, boss. Yeah, how long have I will we been not running? Say that. Uh, um, <laughs> my timer says 26 <laughs> minutes. Where's that big old hook that pulls us off, uh, off the stage? Because I'm really looking yeah. for it right now. Anyways, uh, well, did we have some trivia or some fact? Okay, let me let me get direction? in here. And this, it could, it could be for fun or could t- to be make Justin feel like absolute shit for wait what for what he's done. Yeah. yeah Wait, I'm what sorry. do you mean? Oh no! Oh I've got no! Some nutritional Don't bring in my moral packs. compass. I've got because it's nutrition. always pointing north. Just kidding! It's always pointing south. <laughs> going down under. Continue well, today with the going uh, northeast. I got some nutritional uh, nugget facts for one chicken nugget, and okay. at the end, when we find out how many nuggets you ate, we're just gonna find out the nutritional value of. Ooh, math on the spot. Math on the spot. So let's start with the cal- caloric uh, value of one chicken nugget. It comes up to about 54 calories. Yeah, but Approximately. what about the protein? I, sh- I, should, say, I should say, We're is this there. a specific type of chicken nugget? Like, is this like a store-bought or like McDonald's? Or... I have, this is specifically a Tyson fully cooked chicken nugget. Wait, that's Ooh. what I ate. Exactly. Okay, oh. so we can't even like dispute this. Okay, no, okay. there's nothing to dispute. Um, total fat. Uh, for one nugget, 3.4 grams. Cholesterol is 8 milligrams. Sodium, 94 milligrams. That's another big hitter right here. That's the one. That's the that's one. The freaking, right that's the freaking one. The sodium. The 94, what was it, milligrams? Yep. This makes me never want to so eat a chicken daily nugget value. again, but I know I'm going to someday. Oh, yeah. So it's one gram. How? Do the math real quick. How many to make one gram? Um, how do you make one gram? Yeah, because they're ab- they're about a hundred, like ten. Is that right? Yeah, Am I would I say so. Because if I'm doing yeah, math, right. it's about a hundred. It's about a hundred milligrams, and a thousand milligrams is a gram. Would be right? one gram. Who? So about ten nuggets equals a gram of sodium. <laughs> <laughs> He's sweating over there. He's sweating. Okay. It's not because oh. of the sodium. And it's not because of this. <laughs> okay, moving on. I digress. Um, three grams of carbs. Justin, for just for you, two point eight grams of protein. Wait, okay. thank you. I think I have my that's, goal. That's all we really need to know. Um, a, okay. a chicken nugget. If we're gonna look at the caloric breakdown of a chicken nugget, it's over half of it is fat, and then about um, a fifth of it is. Like twenty percent is a protein, and about twenty three to twenty four percent is carbs. So my macros are on point, basically. Um, All fat. I'm not telling you the day. saturated fat for a reason. Oh, I don't. I don't God. feel like I want to know that. No, I'm just kidding. It's actually it's actually quite low. Um, yeah, it's actually quite low. The saturated fat it's three point four grams per nugget. Saturated fat is only point eight grams. Three point four grams per nugget, dude. That's a lot. Um, uh, that's what it's telling me, man. I don't so... know what to tell you. I would love to say, oh man, these facts are awesome. But if you think I didn't stare for hours at the nutritional <laughs> info before doing this challenge, <laughs> thinking, how fast will my heart stop? Uh, you'd be wrong. I no, I just wanted. To, I spent I just some good to, time yeah. cuddled up with these nugs on the couch, uh, still frozen, by the way. And that's how you warmed them up. Nice cuddle. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. Anyways, what else we got? I just wanted to have this for a reference because I will be doing the calculations once you tell me how many. Oh, thank you. How many nuggets you ate? I was under the impression that chicken nuggets actually came. I thought that like chicken tenders came first, and then everyone was like, "I'm having a hard time eating these tenders. They're like too big. We got to like cut them down a little bit." And then and then Thomas Nugget came along. It was like, "I got I got something for you guys. Good old Thomas no. Nugget." Tenders okay, are so, the okay. bougie. The okay, bougie okay. version. So I have a question for you guys before I, I, I spit any more facts. What do you guys think the difference between a tender and a nugget is? The is tender is meat that has not been like processed as much. 
in my opinion. Right. That's what I would think. Okay. So we're we're clear on the on the basis that it has nothing to do with the size, the shape. It's, it's the um. Name. Yeah, because tenders can still be small. They're just a chunk as opposed to... What about the shape? The shape can be different on both. Okay. 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 I'm glad we're clear on this because the world record largest chicken nugget ever produced and eaten was 51.1 pounds. Easy. Oh my it was God. three and a half feet long Easy. and two feet wide. I just want to repeat. That's Easy. not even... That's not even a nugget. That's just a full-on chicken. It's no, more that's than a, ch- a, a chicken 51 patty. Pounds. <laughs> yeah. Let's get into chicken patty, too. Oh, 51. yeah. What is a the chicken difference between chicken nuggets pound. and chicken patties? What They're is big nuggies. The, it's the shape. It's, it's literally just, just big the nuggies. Shape. Big nuggies. Big round nuggies. Nuggie You pucks. just can't dunk them. If we're not talking the about way. debates here, the great debate, are McDonald's nugget shapes, are they intentional shapes or just random? I don't know. They're intentional. I, honestly, people tell me they are. At I don't want to believe it's true, but I don't know enough. I assume that at one point they weren't intentional, but now they are. I, I like, feel those like... were the shapes that were coming out, and they're like, oh, this is what I associate with McDonald's. And then now they make sure to have even portions well, of each. That's it would, make... it would make sense. I don't know how they make their chicken nuggets. It would make sense well, if they had a mold. It would make they sense. Got like... They got like the pink slime in there, though. Well, like, I know that, but like, I don't know the too. process. That no, I know, I, but I don't know the process. Think of the machine through. that is McDonald's. Their real estate and nostalgia. They're banking on both of those. There's a McDonald's on every street, and they're they're just giving you stuff. No matter which one you go to, it's gonna taste the same. I think it's but that's not true. Uh, Have you ever been to a McDonald's in like another state? Um, are you telling me Iowa, Iowa McDonald's it, some, tastes like corn or something? Like, yeah, no, <laughs> some, sta- some, some, uh, some states, um, some McDonald's in different areas of the world get their product in the world from though. different places. But yeah, if we're in the world, about- in the, in the United States, in the United States. Okay. Sorry. Let's stick in the oh, United no, States, good. even in the United States. Cause when I was in an airport and I got to Florida and I, and we got McDonald's for lunch, there was and that did not taste the it. same. There was well, some tan lotion. Airport locations <laughs> of anything are going to be different. Airports are in like their own separate world of like how they get product. You can't. You well, that's can't. Not you true. Can't, no. It has to be like how. I, I've no, seen, that's the opposite of how it is. I've seen restaurants and airports that serve products that other like versions of products haven't haven't been sold for in years in other restaurants. Well, true, but that's not. So it's, if you look at it from the standpoint of, I think of it when you have like. So you have, like, the corporate real McDonald's stores, right? And then you have the ones in airports. The ones in airports are still branded as a McDonald's. I think they, they might prepare differently and or they might operate store differently because they don't, aren't tied as strongly to McDonald's. But I still think it's a McDonald's because they are getting McDonald's products. I couldn't tell you for sure, though. I've never worked at one of those McDonald's. Maybe for one of these episodes, we'll bring in a McDonald's franchisee and he can fill us in because I am Ooh. very interested in filling this up. I'm very interested I'm, in finding oh, this yeah. out. Oh, yeah. Like I said, I think they're based on nostalgia, though, for the most part. No, completely. Oh, 100%. 100%. That's all they are. All right. I little see the break, stream popping up. Little break from the <laughs> trivia we've got going. This is not the full video. This is a just, just a little taste of those oh sweet, delicious nugs. Oh, um, boy. <laughs> and this is unedited as far as music and sound and speeding up. Like, the speed will definitely change in more of the lulls. But this is a, the first portion of it. I don't know if I want to give all of it away yet to you guys. Um, I'll kind of scrub through it, um, but here we go. I'm going to play it while we talk. Uh, be, okay. Feel free to give some live commentary. Um, I, um... <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Get me out of here. Um, please was, describe uh, what's going on. I, I, I was going to say I appreciate the sauces and wine and the, the wine glasses, but I, did I, 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 I see the baby you. Yoda headpiece. 
I, I <laughs> knew about the baby Yoda, Yoda headpiece going oh, in. Yeah. It fits very well. <laughs> I don't still know a very nice touch. If you'll be able to hear, but I think my opening statement is I'm afraid of a lot of things except commitment. <laughs> and and then I think for a second and then I go, No, yeah, that's about it. So I'm pretty much only afraid of commitment. <laughs> And I, yeah, I pretty much plan none of this. My dog starts barking. And I say, oh, yeah, I'll probably be afraid of that, too, um, just because it's going to ruin my sound. I kind of go through you? how things are going to go. I talk about them. I describe them as wines. I, okay. Knowing you, I didn't expect anything else from this, but it still took me by surprise. Another level. Um, it, yeah, you the went Yoda to another hoodie, level. Or the Yoda oh, my, thing makes I my... See. I see the yellow honey mustard right there. I, I'm very curious what brand it is, so I know to avoid it. Um, sweet baby Ray's. I don't want your money. I don't want it. All right, that's a <laughs> shame because yeah, sweet baby though. Ray's is generally pretty good. And here's yeah. the uh, here's the crown. That was nugget. the inaugural first. No, nug. Was, wait, what was your first dipping sauce? That looks like buffalo. Bone, it's sweet and sour. Oh, really? Sweet and sour. Yep. Yes, it, it looks is. Like sweet and sour. Oh, we got a whole counter right there too. <laughs> I've got you a said little counter. Was, but you said there wasn't much editing in this. Uh, no, I had to. I have to do it in steps. You know, I'm gonna get all the numbers in, so then later I can speed it up, and the numbers will be in there anyways. Because I don't want to try to edit numbers at three times the speed. It gotcha. seems a little ridiculous. It's so I, I guess based on your looks right here, I expected it to be around like nugget a hundred that you start to have feelings of remorse, but based on the look in your faces, I'd say three <laughs> nugget three is when you're starting to have second thoughts. No, I don't see any second. This man, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I'm watching. <laughs> like I said, without <laughs> music and oh. Yeah, without the music, okay. this just kind of seems like something that's illegal to watch. <laughs> Justin, Justin, can I be honest with you right now? Um, this yeah. looks like one of those videos that kids upload to YouTube when they're like 10 and they become a viral meme because it's just so cringy, the fact that they think they're professional videos. Oh, yeah. And they're just the most no. low quality, just weird ass. Well, I, I love the baby Yoda cowl or whatever you want to call it. Well, yeah. It just puts darkness over my eyes so you cannot see my soul I, I like how the nuggets are out of focus but you the central focus <laughs> is you in focus so when you say quality is bad i no, think no, it's no, pretty no, awesome right no, there. no 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 here's look here's at this thing. oh <laughs> <laughs> I gotta fix myself. see i thought the, I, I guess this I is different see... I guess this is different in that I expected you to just, like, go through it as fast as possible, but you are savoring these nuggets. This whole time that we've been talking about this, you're on nugget 12. Like, I expected you to just, like, look at this plate and just be like, okay, I've got to I've gotta just so, go. This plate is only the top of it. There's a whole nother side. There's a whole nother <laughs> triple this is out of frame, basically. If not more, and that's the scary part, is that there's quite a bit. Um, as you can see, I'm downing that sauce right there. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah, you're really dancing. working on the sauce. I'm dancing because you know. You not a... I have Maybe no Yoda. shame. Maybe Yoda. <laughs> I now, don't know. Continue. Just for just just for some more clarification, uh, remind me the rules of this challenge that you set a, set for yourself. Um, pretty much get those nugs down. Um, don't look back. Pretty much my only rules. Um, I was going to do it timed, but after the fact, I looked up other n chicken nugget challenges and they're all like, eat a hundred nuggets. It's like, no one has ever attempted to eat 400 basically. So I'm in new territory as far as that goes. Um, <laughs> he's on another level. So you're a trailblazer essentially. He's <laughs> We're witnessing history in video. He, in a sense, yes. Um, I'm on 19. I'm asking if she can tuck me in tonight, my girlfriend. And I get no response. <laughs> I think that's response then, now. <laughs> and then I just keep eating those nugs. So I'll fast forward a bit because this is unedited raw for the most part, minus the counter. Um... 
<laughs> we, he, please he please describe what's on frame. We jumped from a 20 to 43, and I can see the, from... men the mental health of our subject, Justin, here decline. <laughs> Quite the pitfall. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, the the place where you cut to, you just looked more sad. Wait, can I just like, describe the fact that he you, literally... You, you he literally just wiped. Just... He literally just wiped his Grogu, and he just goes, "I'm really feeling it right now." That's all I heard. <laughs> you just looked like you were depressed and slumped over at the bar. That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> so basically, that was the goal of this video was to see how far into madness I could get. Um, obviously, and now we're on the ranch. I'm... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you do not look like you're enjoying the ranch. <laughs> Here's another thing I found out. Yep, the best attack is only attack and no defense is what I say. Um, I think I hated all of the sauces except for the sweet and sour and the ranch. All of the the buffalo tasted like garbage juice. Um, I got a weird kind of barbecue sauce that was like onion zesty or something. I didn't realize till later. Wait. And my sauce choice was just off. And it further proves that these restaurants, like the fast food ones, uh, all those chains, their sauce is what's doing most of the work. Um, yeah. This store-bought stuff just doesn't cut it. I also microwaved all the nuggets instead of actually <laughs> cooking them. So, okay, so, so there was quite a bit of bias in this. Um, basically, I'm thinking... I'm editing out this part where I itch my ear because that's just unnecessary. No, I like that part. Oh yeah, that's my favorite part too. But more for later. <laughs> like I, I like the little airplane or boat. You just... I a lot of this is physical comedy deliverance. Yeah, I, li um, I like how you had to motivate the nugget into your mouth. <laughs> like you're getting there, bud. You're getting there. Um, I'm just kind of scrubbing through for them, making sure they. <laughs> you you don't even look sad. You just look unenthused. <laughs> Like you, this is like just I said, hitting you. It's just I, hitting you that you had to do four hundred of these. Like I said, there needs to be a lot of fast forwarding. Um, I mean, continue. In all fairness, yeah, I would not even get to sixty. You're already at sixty, okay. and you look way better than I would look at sixty. Okay, nuts. yeah, cool. I, I I gotta agree with Alex on this one. I, I anything saying, more anything more than twenty is just yeah, like I'm 20s. looking yeah. I'm looking like what you're looking at right now after 20 nuggets. So I'm pretty impressed. At oh, this point. man. Oh, however, maybe I have the intro pulled up too. Um, so this is the beginning of the video. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to cut the stream for half a second. Um, if I knew how. There we go. And then I'll see if I can find the intro to it while we just banter around. But yeah, how are you feeling about it? What do we think I'm going to get to? This is only the first part of it. Um, um, there's multiple after this. Can I ask if 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 I can't feel free to stop me? How long did, did this go on for? How well, what you would have? you be impressed by? <laughs> I'm already <laughs> impressed. Okay, okay, uh, that's good because there was a point where my girlfriend walked in and said, "Have you started yet?" And, <laughs> and that was <laughs> around the time of sixty <laughs> nugs or so. <laughs> <laughs> and she just goes, have you started? And I'm like, uh, was I just drinking sweet and sour sauce? Like, why would this be empty? I, I, did that light a fire under you? Like, you you were thinking of tapping like, out and your girlfriend here, just, just stunted you like that? And you're like, no, the challenge must go on. So unlike most people, when people degrade me, it only pushes me to do absolutely worse. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll just throw that one out there. <laughs> oh, okay. So, I don't have it fully. I need to go back into production mode and make this intro again. But uh, I'm going to play it. I'm going to have you guys react to it real quick. Um, okay. Do we have a final nugget count? What you guys think I got to? Because I am going to reveal by the end how many I actually got. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really, I'm really on your side for this one. I'm going to say okay. you got to 300 nuggets. Dang. 
Okay. I I am going to say two hundred and seventy four. Okay, you're going real mm. accurate. I do want to say I've told a lot of people about this. A lot of people <laughs> were riding on me doing absolutely amazing. I heard numbers of over 400. I heard 500 from some people, even though I told them I was only eating 400. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm so glad you believe it. Bring me more nuggets. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Just <laughs> continue. M- continue. Meat Slayer. <laughs> that. That is what started it all. I'm um, the self-proclaimed meat how slayer. Big was, how big was the burger you ate to become the meat slayer, and how fast did you finish it? The meat itself was three to four pounds, and then there was okay. also a giant plate of fries, and that's not including the bun or any of the other stuff, but yeah. it was like pulled pork, uh, barbecue sauce, bacon. Okay. It tasted how, really good. And how did you finish? How long did it take you to finish that? It took me, I beat the record of the restaurant, which previously was like 17 minutes. You get a half hour to do it, um, and then you get a shirt if you can beat that half hour. But I smoked yeah. it casually at a clean 13 and like <laughs> 12 seconds, Never something mind. like I'm that. With, I'm staying with 300. You just convinced me. That's it. Oh, that's a thing. Um, and I went in starving. I was like, here we go. <laughs> you, you were I was you in were the fasting. middle. Thing. I was fasting this is for the meat slayer challenge i was fasting i was in the middle of a really harsh diet um just because i was like oh i want to cut some weight gonna be looking good at the beach and stuff you know you know and so i was hungry um the nuggets not so much but i fasted the same exact way and i was hungry by the time it came around i did the same exact setup i i wasn't in the middle of like a harsh diet or anything but Besides that, the everything was the same. So I'm going to play this, <laughs> and then I'm going to give the grand total of how many I uh, ate. So here we go. Um, it might not be amazing yet. There's still going to be words <laughs> over it. <laughs> I haven't decided what we're calling the challenge. So, yeah. But this is basically it. It's got a little remix over it. I want you to, guys mm. to describe it to everyone afterwards. Okay. I'm very excited. I'm assuming you can hear the music. Yep. There's a plate of chicken nuggets, and it's zoom in. In there's going to be words. I'm really excited. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bad '90s music video. Um, exactly. I think it's, oh like God, going I, I think it's an excellent '90s music video. No, so that's what I was going for. Video. So you know just to is? describe, just to describe, no, no, no. It, there's. Pl- it's still missing text because okay. that's what most of it's going to be. Anytime it goes black, to, okay. there's probably going to be text. You can describe this saying, better than anyone in continue. literally one sentence, two sentences, because I'll ask a question first. Okay. I'll just ask in a question for him. So, you know, like on old DVDs, like 90s, early 2000s, yeah. the piracy ad, the piracy ad on <laughs> DVDs, that's what this is, but with chicken nuggets. I purposely went for the 80s, 90s, like, the film's degrading slash, like, (laughs) just it looks like a bad effect in a music (laughs) video um, (laughs) kind of deal. And I got what I wanted. And this is only the beginning stage, (laughs) but uh, it's going to go there. It's The fact that this looks like this and this is the unfinished, like, raw, rough cut makes me very happy. Exactly. Uh, It's not going to be no... 360 no scope type of deal flipping flinging around but it's got promise just like just picturing I you recording this like moving the camera around chicken nuggets <laughs> getting into it like listen to... oh <laughs> yeah uh, oh over you know, microwave your, your nuggets your can you on? can you can you see the texture on those quite yeah quite pristine that's pretty um, well you can, I can see just picture your girlfriend walking in on you with your grogu hat moving around the bowl of chicken nuggets with every <laughs> oh, camera. oh yeah so it's beautiful th- these are the nuggets when they were cooked obviously um how yeah. how long did you how long did you spend like recording the nuggets after they were done when did how long were the nuggets done before you started eating them so i thought Cook the ones on the bottom the most because they will be more hot by the time you get to them. Um, So I went with that method where I 
I think I microwave them. I also had thought out these nuggets just the day before. I thought them out a bit so they'd be easier to uh, do. I think I do like a plateful at like two, two and a half minutes. And I had to repeat this process many times. <laughs> and it took a good 30 minutes to an hour just to cook them all. Um, closer to an hour, probably. <laughs> In the, in the microwave in the microwave you could have done i could have put them in the oven in but freaking, I, uh, I feel like they would have came out burnt i don't know i wasn't thinking you're ridiculous this you're is ridiculous. why we needed to i don't know plan it out maybe i don't know next time i do a no. challenge we'll plan it out i don't know we'll see <laughs> maybe justin shouldn't have this much power i think that's what we're getting at I anyways think, I think the good thing is when you have this much power, I'm just going to be real. Oh, yes. It's because if if this was affecting other people, if I was not the one eating the nuggets and I thought someone else was doing it, I would have put the most delicate care into it. I would put all the time, the effort, but it was me. I am a filth bag. I just thought, <laughs> insert here, nug to mouth, done. <laughs> So, I, I just, uh, I just know that uh, I just it's know like a that slot machine for nuggets. You probably would have ate this frozen if they, if you didn't have to yeah. eat them up. So Which... I, 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 I respect everything you've done with this challenge. Episode two: How respect... many frozen nuggets can Justin eat? <laughs> I no, I would have to lick them. I would have to lick them till they were gone. Like um, a how many does it take to yes, get to the center can... of a chicken nugget? Yes, exactly. So final numbers. I'm okay with revealing how many we did. We could um. And on a couple more facts and probably wrap this one up. But I want to know what you guys think I got. Um, and I'll reveal it. Um, the smash-tastic time that I had. Uh, yeah, go right ahead. What are we thinking? Uh, um, I'm still going to stick with my exact number of 274. I thought it was 374. <sighs> Did I say 374? No, you Don't said be 274. Cause you were, you, no, he was oh, under okay. me because I said 300. Okay, you said two seventy four. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, I've got faith in you, Justin. I do, but I'm just thinking about how many nuggets I could eat as a human being. Yes, and even if I multiply it by like by a a quite large number, it's still under the three hundred mark. So I'm gonna have to lower it quite a bit. I'm but I'm gonna go with. I'm going to go with 150. I honestly think you wow. probably tapped out okay. at 150. Huh. And I just wow. think that's human wow. limits. I think that's Wait, human limits. Way to hit his pride. Holy cow. You came, with the, you came with the records too, man. Wow. I'm sorry. Okay. After hearing the preparation process, you... See, but I so think the more I, I talk, think... the less faith you have. I'm no, like a pretty no, girl. I got faith in you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like myself, actually. <laughs> I'm just a pretty Justin. And the more just, I talk, the more you go, oh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Justin pretty face. <laughs> yep, there we go. I mean, um, see, I, I believe you until you open your mouth and put a chicken nugget inside. And then I'm, here's the I'm thing, out on that I'm one. also the person where I will tell you a story. You will not believe that story, but then that story comes to be true. You will hear it from four other people. Yeah, I was there when he did it. I know it sounds ridiculous, but he had the cow upside down while he was doing the backflip. And then his mom came in and was like, don't do that. It, you need to use your inside voice. Wait, is it's that, that so, kind of thing. So we're going to talk okay. about that story soon. Fine. But no, Fine. 300. 300. I'll go 300. 300. You're changing. I'm, Thank it, you for yeah, having not some kind of faith in me. My, I just want to say my... Continue. I can't say my faith in you is unwavering. Because okay. it wavers quite a bit. But we're at 300 right <laughs> Naturally, now. Naturally. So we'll go with it. I go where the wind blows. And when it blows, I goes. My mother would be very proud of the number that I achieved. Um, I don't have much for her to respect about me, but there's moments. And she would have been very mad if I got the 400. So I can say I did not complete the 400 challenge. I'm very sorry to upset, upset the fans, but I did do a respectable amount. Okay. I think the total was... <laughs> 73 nuggets. What? <laughs> wait, 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 whoa. <laughs> this... I literally, I literally dropped my number because I knew, I knew it couldn't be that many. And then you made me feel bad about it. And then you had half of the number I dropped. 
people I talked to thought you were going to easily clear this mark. <laughs> I'm a failure! No one. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> so you basically... remember how we talked about? Talk, 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 okay, talk, talk to us. How, talk to us how you were <sighs> feeling towards the end of this, because we only saw up to nugget sixty. So there was ten more nuggets after this. That's the thing. There were only ten more nuggets of that, but still, like twelve to twenty more minutes of footage. <laughs> I was only <laughs> averaging like a nugget every two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, can I just I've been out? I've been leaving subtle <laughs> hints throughout the show that I did not do that well. <laughs> like, what like was I said, through? I was was not starving this time was a big one. I'm like, yeah, I wish I would have been starving this time, but I really wasn't. <laughs> I'm disappointed in myself. I honestly don't care what other people think about me, but it's going to be pretty funny disappointing a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is actually. <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be the amount yeah, of people that know part. about this. No, <laughs> they're the type of people that would come to my funeral and they would have raised a nug and said he died doing what he <laughs> loved, and they would have all dunked their sauce of choice. They would have dunked their soul sauce with no remorse, and they said one more for my homie, and boom in that, the mouth. As long as that sauce wasn't zesty, we would have been okay. We would have been okay. I like zesty, no. but not for nugs. I like it for those okay. onion rings, those other things. Hey, that rhymes. So here's the, the life lesson, I guess, if you will, that I'm taking out of this. Okay. So, to look back. Exactly. We spent weeks <laughs> <laughs> preparing this idea. And then when we finally got here, you found a perfect day when you had <laughs> days to recover from this. And then... On the day of, you spent over half an hour microwaving nugs. At least. 400 nugs. At least. At least. And then you sit down, you set up all the recording, you do all this work. Like, me and Kyle, really, all we did was sit here and wait. Yeah. <laughs> react. Oh, I did a you lot sat, of you, the you put in all the yes. You put in all the groundwork. It was all you, and you only ate 73 <laughs> fucking chicken nuggets. <laughs> what did you do with the rest of the nuggets? So... Here's the upsetting thing. I was like, oh, I don't feel so good right after this. So I laid down and accidentally fell asleep. <laughs> and what happened to the nuggets? So I woke up and fortunately I had covered them in like, as you can kind of see in the video, it's like in a tin foil type situation. And I, I tempted them out, and they were still a good temp. Like, whatever. I just threw them back in the fridge. <laughs> you kept eating, didn't you? Oh, I was going to say, you might sit back down and start eating. So, which brings, I need to save this video, basically, is what I'm getting at. I'm going to do a video about what to do when your 400 nugget eating challenge doesn't quite work out. And I'm going to make some recipes for everyone <laughs> what to do with your insane amount. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it may and that's called it getting the be, bang for your buck it may be a very niche audience that relates to this but I'm going to help those few people and they're going to get a good sleep tonight because they're not going to be up thinking about who should I put it in the macaroni which I will include but we're going to get a little fancier than that I'm just throwing that out there not have you ever to. had ramen chicken nugget no you have not coming in fancy you I just actually saying. have, so... Wait, what? I, I actually have had ramen with chicken nuggets in it, so... Okay, oh, I, so I haven't, so I appreciate... This video's the for you. Just throwing that out there. Um, but I would like the mac and cheese. <laughs> Alright, well, is this where I we're just... going to wrap it up today? Is this where no, we're going to wrap it up today? I, need I, to, I just need to talk to the people really quick. I need to apologize publicly. Yeah, you do. I'm just yeah. saying, there will be another nugget challenge and i will overcome it it may be a sequel that nobody asked for but it will be a sequel he, and... he made the title he made it work he worked in the title guys i will make it happen whether we change the number and it's more of a speed eating challenge because i know i know i could do an amount of nuggets i will rocky lost but he's still the hero do coming up there <laughs> so... quint no, he wins in three. No, he doesn't. 
Yes, he does. I, guess I don't Mr. care. T. I'm gonna. St I'm Mr. gonna stop. T, but but does he fight, okay, when does he fight Mr. T the second time? And doesn't he lose? No, he doesn't fight Mr. T the second time. Yeah, does, I swear. Okay. I when does he uh, fight Michael B. Jordan? That's when I want to know. Uh, that was that. That's, that was the that's, uh, that's the Creed spinoff. That's when we. Apollo Creed's. That's what. That's when. That's when after you come back, you uh, ch swap out chicken nuggets, and one of us does hot dogs, and you train us. Okay, I'm okay with <laughs> this. Oh, it's so dogs. it's not a movie where, like, Michael B. Jordan beats the shit out of Sylvester Stallone? No, no, that's okay. not great. Because I no, thought that was a little No, go to TMZ unfair. to see that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I think, do we have a chicken nugget fact that will top this, or are we just zoning out Justin, here. I have nothing to say yeah. to you. I have nothing to say to you right now. I can't wait to face people who believed in me, who adored me, and just tell them, you know, this is life, and we learn, and them to just walk away while I'm trying to explain what happened. You guys saw the nugs. They're not going to see the nugs. They're going to just hear of how I failed. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. So, um... I'll, I'll upload a video. With How many times do you it? think you can be the boy that cried nug before they stop watching? Um, seeing as that's what I hate about people is that they do say, I'm the coolest guy at this party. I could down all these shots. No problem. And then they're knocked out on the floor 10 minutes later after three shots of, like, Smirnoff. <laughs> I'm, I don't... <laughs> I hate being that guy, and that's why I'm promising everyone out there, our thousands of fans, I will do this. 100 Nugget Challenge from some fast food chain that I do not prepare the nuggets for and sauces that I do not buy because that's where my biggest downfall was. I could just feel the grains of raw, like, <laughs> chicken-type <laughs> stuff in my... Oh, it was just yeah. bad. Like... It was more I was uh, grossed cafeteria out than the capacity. Feet. Yep. <laughs> it was the capacity of my tummy was still yummy, but the taste in my mouth, I wanted to get out. That's what I'm saying. But, okay. I get it. I, I think I, we're going to wrap this up. Beautiful right. round to tie it together. I, I okay. think we think we ended on a good note. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time for a sequel nobody asked for. Have a good one. Bye. Have a, have a great day, everyone. Sayonara. Chicken chicken nugget. Chicken chicken nugget.